And away we go. <laughs> you still got those bugs yeah, no, no, floating no. around your head. Oh, it's I'll, I'll have to coming I'll have out to of my ear, probably. I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to fix that. Fix that. Anyway, hey, welcome everybody. This is Dale Little Cheddar Lorenz. That gentleman right over here is my good good friend, Mr. Al, the Hitman Holden. And we are Outer Points Productions uh, for our very first live broadcast on the new YouTube channel. So thank you, everybody, for being here. I am excited and stressed to the max on hoping, hoping everything's going to turn out okay tonight. So, And it's it's all about giving the viewers the best show that we can give you. So, well, it, you, well, know, you yeah. know that's going to happen. Yeah, it, it, and everybody knows with, you know, within consideration of our mediocre commentary. Exactly. But, but um, everybody... Yeah, we're glad to have you here, and uh, hopefully the new uh, new stream will go well, and everybody like and share. It will, and uh, we'll we'll get it out there, and it'll be better than ever. So, amen. Yeah, thank you, everybody. If you do get an opportunity, we'll talk about it, you know, throughout the broadcast. But uh, like it, share it with your friends, and uh, let's get that subscriber count way up there. So, anywho, um, I am going to do my thing. And have the players get out there and lag. Let's give you the right screen first so you guys get to watch it too. So, uh, this is the second semifinal match, and it is between Tom Manina and Fong Wen, both players out of Matt Apple up in Appleton. Everybody knows that if you're a pool player in the state of Wisconsin. Uh, this is going to be another good match, yeah, just, like, just like last night. We had. Uh, High expectations, and I think they were met for the most part. Uh, this, both of these guys are guaranteed four hundred dollars, um, and a chance to add three hundred dollars to it tonight. Exactly, so, yes. and a trip to the finals. There you go. So I'm going to get these guys to the leg. Al's going to sit and talk with you for a little while, and uh, then we're going to do what? Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. There we go. All right. All right, Dale's heading out here, and uh, he's going to talk to the guys for a minute, get them ready to go here, put the extra cue ball up there, and then we will lag. And again, if you don't know and you have a first time watching the stream, we're going to... Uh-oh. Somebody forgot something. All right. And we got Fong with... Winning the leg, so Fong will, oh, uh, they didn't, oh, okay, now, oh, they did, and here we go, there we go, all right, so Fong won the leg, and he gets to spin the wheel, nine ball, eight ball, ten ball, what are we going to get, and around she goes, and ten ball. All right, so last night's semifinal was nine ball. Tonight we have ten ball. And uh, we will get going here shortly. All right. Explain the rules. Uh, all right. I didn't. I didn't know. I got back that part. All right. All right. So here we go. Long to break. Didn't expect anything else on the first break. We, <laughs> yeah, no doubt, me either. We are we are off and running again. So, it is well. I actually don't even need to change anything on the scoreboard. It is ten ball. Uh, three foul rule is in effect. Uh, no, uh, ten ball breaks. Um, early ten, obviously, only if you call it in a combination or carom or. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. Right. Yep. Um, obviously, uh, winter break, rack your own. 
Other than that, uh, I think that's pretty much it for Did the you rules. Say no three fall. It yeah, the three foul full three uh, 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 three foul rule, three is, foul in rule is in effect. Yes, oh, they yes, are planned. Yeah. I like that. I think it should be in ten ball. I, I think it should as well. I think it should be a nine ball as well. Eight ball's a little tougher. You got so many balls to hide behind it. Almost makes it too easy to but that's Steven Schwen in the chat. I, I'll tell you what. I, I I have to tell you a little little story a little bit later, and I'm, I promise you, I'm not going to forget. Um, Steven said one of the nicest things I have ever heard, uh, the best compliments I've ever gotten about the stream, and uh, I'll I'll leave it up to later. But okay. thank thank you very much, Steven. Uh, it means more than you'll ever know. Uh, Joe Menina, and that is actually Tom's dad up in Nina. I, I believe you're viewing from Nina. Joe, uh, obviously rooting on his son, Michael Masevich. Who's going to join me in the finals? Michael Parker. Always. I was actually talking to Michael um, right before, like 15, 20 minutes before we started the stream. Okay. Um, and I'll tell you. <laughs> He kind of knows a little bit of my stress level right now, oh, but yes, anyway, yeah. thank you everybody for uh, liking, sharing. Let's get that subscriber count way up there. Yeah. What's up, Fred Renner? Fred was out picking ditch weed this afternoon uh, and uh, filling some orders. Uh, gotta send some to his favorite streamers. Yes. Um, have you ever had his salsa no, or no, his? I no, I haven't had any of his stuff. Oh my god! I'll have to bring you some, Al. Uh, <laughs> seriously, it's he uh, pickled asparagus, pickled pickles. Okay. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he makes nice regular. There. He makes regular um, zippy. Okay. Zippier. Okay. And zippiest. Okay. And then. He's got a new one coming out. It's called Set the Toilet Paper on Fire. The, oh, my. Yeah. That's, I think, well, probably going to be my favorite. I, and I'll you let me know when you're going to have that, so I'm not in the booth. Not in the booth? All right. Fair <laughs> enough. All right. Oh, just missed the bank. Fong going aggressive. I like it. And I'll tell you, if you've ever played against Fong Wen... You know he goes aggressive. <laughs> he is not. He's not about playing safe. That's true. He Unless can, he, he absolutely... He can play safe. Yep. And he plays them well once in a while. But, yeah, he's more often than not going to go for the offensive shot. Rack runner... Rack... Sorry. <laughs> rack runner stream is top-notch quality. Wow. Thank you. I, I want to know who you are. <laughs> I, seriously. I, I think he, that's a challenge, Rack Runner. I think that sounds like a challenge to me. Uh, oh, just missed it. Much appreciated, Rack Runner. That's, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> that means everything. It really does. It's been a long road to get to this point, and I'm glad to be here. And as long as you can put up with the mediocre commentary, you'll be all right. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> the commentary does not get any better That's than than what it is right now. Yeah. So if you're already, yeah, if if you're expecting to hear quality, streaming, I, yeah, it's I, I'd not go gonna find it here. I'd go somewhere else, <laughs> <laughs> without a doubt. Sc subscribe to a different channel, please. But the pool will be good. So that's yep. that's the main thing. Oh, I like this shot off to seven. Yeah, it kind of gets it away from. Uh, yeah. Puts it in an easy, actually a really easy position now, but I think he's going to have to go around table to get to it. Uh, unless you just, roll, I, I think roll I just, in. I think I rolled in. Yeah, I think I would but, just but, yeah, float you, this. Three rails is almost better because you got to get below the eight. So, uh -oh. just avoid everything Watch and it's good. Oh, very oh, nice. There you go. Well played. I think this is the key shot to this rack. He's Lord probably going to have to come inside, yeah. two rails, oh, two, inside, possibly three. Inside. There you go. Yep. Oh, playing it all the way down. Not wrong with that no, either. Or you or could play it in the side, too. Yeah, just pull it out. Yeah. yeah it probably stunned this a little bit. As long as you don't go too much and get up, hook yourself on 10.
I can see why he's a little bit hesitant because if if any of the viewers don't know how Outer Points got its name, um, hopefully we're not about to find out. Uh-huh. Oh my! Uh-huh. Oh, well, I, and it's it's typical Fong Wen. Yeah. He is aggressive. Yeah, and he likes to spin that ball too. Yes, he does. Leanne Holden. Oh my! Commentators goodness. are something else. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> That <laughs> I, I, I know. Do you wanna, I know that's not a compliment. So well. Yeah. So if <sighs> if nobody knows that, uh, that's Al's wife. Um, I think it's cool that she's. Ooh, we're jacking up here on this ten ball. Uh, keep it on the side. Yeah. And that's. And there's our first. I tell you what, that's a really good out by Fong already. One of the things that I mentioned last night, uh, I was telling Al, too, um, I don't have 10 boxing gloves. So you'll have to bear with me when, or you can look at the score. Actually, if you've never seen it before, I don't even have the boxing glove up there yet. So why don't we just do that, Al? All right. There's, we, and, and there's something to do with that for prizes as well. There is. We'll I'll get to that in a little while. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Team Team Win uh, M Win four fourteen. Yeah, Brit Brittany Win Team Fong all the way. There we go. So when when someone says that the commentators are. Something else, and I'm using air quotes right now, Leanne. <laughs> um, and w- what exactly does that mean? Do you think, Al? Oh, uh, she she'll let us know. I'm sure. Okay, good. But uh, we do we do have to thank her because if it wasn't for her, um, you wouldn't be sitting here. Being being nice enough to let me come up here, considering we were up here last night <laughs> as well. Um, yeah, that's I I do appreciate that she uh, allowed me to come up here, and we have a good time. I think. In the booth here, uh, no and, doubt. And uh, I do appreciate it, Leanne. So thank you very much, and we'll try and make the stream as best we can. Eh. All, all we can promise. <laughs> Thanks, Leanne. We've known each other for what thirty-five years now, so, something like that. Yeah, yeah it's, somewhere it's, on there. It's, yeah, it's been a long time. Again, you know. So this is your third time in the booth, and I ask Al the the very first time. Did you ever think that 35 years ago you and I would be sitting next to each other in this crowded little <laughs> box um, talking about pool? Uh, at 35 years ago, I wouldn't have thought we would be sitting next to each other playing pool. <laughs> <laughs> we would not be sitting in that, in two bar stools next to each other. Believe me. No, no. Um, Here we yeah, are. That's that's the way things happen. You know, you people people change. They uh, they you learn to. Uh, Appreciate people and respect people. Amen. And that's that's a key in pool. You you have to appreciate the game and the people you play against. If you can't do that, you don't belong. Don't play. Pool. That's right. So, well, I'm on a one ball here. Gonna okay, Michael Parker, settle down a little bit. Uh oh, what do we got here? Oh well, I appreciate that, Michael. <laughs> I have to put up with Dale, so I have to try and do my best. So <laughs> it's hard. Yeah, it is. Michael knows, trust me, and he he knows. Ooh. Kevin Dorn. <laughs> uh, that's uh, well, Kevin Dorn, all you have to say is, <laughs> you know, do something. You could be up here. Yeah, I thought you were going to commentate one of these times, Kevin. All right, so this cue ball, I mean, he could just drift forward just a little bit, and I think he'll have enough to play the six. I don't, yeah, like that. Yeah, that's it, smart shot. Don't, play. don't make it harder than you have to. He's probably going to run into the ten ball a little bit here, um, but the right side. Inside English, you got to play yep. this. Got to because you spin off the ten. Yep. Just like so. And the 10 is not blocking that pocket for the 8, so I think it'll just float down and play this 8 right past the 10 ball. Two rails here, probably. 
Oh, oh! Yikes. Yikes. Did not want to do that. All right. We're seeing our very first shots by Tom Manina. Michael Masevich. The Savage was the yeah, best in the booth. I, 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 would, I would say I got nothing. I, I think I'm just going to leave that one alone. Wow. I, I mean, given, given who it is, you know, the source itself is it's kind of a determining factor on whether I'm going to... Well, we appreciate Mike, whether, whether he's talking <laughs> or not. We, uh, we appreciate him, so... Yeah, whatever. Kevin Dorn, save the best for last, me. <laughs> so it sounds like, anyway, I, I, I'm not sure, but I, I might be taking it that way that Kevin wants to do the finals. That's... It sure right. seems that way, doesn't it? Yep, that's the way it sounds. Yeah. Oh. All right. One to one here. All right, we're all tied up. And I think I think on that seven ball, Pong just wanted to get a little more than he needed to. Get a little better shot on the eight ball being that the 10 was blocking it the live's not on here you're on the wrong one oh i am so it's not outer point streaming anymore go to outer points productions check that one out. it'll be on Oh, nice break. Wow, yeah. a couple of balls. That's kind of odd for 10 ball. Yes, it is. <laughs> Whatever, Leanne. I agree. Mike, the Savage did a fantastic job. There's, there's no doubt about it. But he... Oh... That's like seriously unfortunate. Yeah. And I think he called. I obviously I can't hear out there, but right. I, I think he was playing the eight, right? I think he was playing the eight ball, mm -hmm. which is kind of dangerous because then you don't don't, don't really know where that one's going to end up. Yeah, but where it ended up, if you went to scratch, <laughs> it would have been perfect. <laughs> yeah. I think he still would have had a problem with the two ball there because he would have probably been in the... Right in the jaws. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been a little tough. This is this is not easy here. It's fives in the way for the two going in the lower right, so... I played a... I, I think I played a one in the other... In the side. Or he... Yeah, the side, I think. I, I don't mind if if he plays oh. here and kicks the 10 out of the way. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad idea. Oh, I don't know if I would have done that. Ah, uh, yeah, now this is... Well, actually, he can just float two rails and come on the short side of the four ball yeah. in the bottom left hand of your screen. Right. Like so. This is going to be a little hard, though. Oof. Ooh, that makes it fun. Oh. <laughs> Michael Massage says, uh, fortunately, I'm going to be a little busy for the finals. He can't commentate because he's in it. Hey, we could get him a wireless headset. That would be interesting. So, so actually, that's I, they're already on order. Oh, okay. Because uh, Brian and I used to do that right. down at Sussex Bowl. And uh, so I've been, I, I'm on YouTube a lot, and I want to get the best audio uh, for the uh, wireless mics. And 
they're not cheap. Oh no, they're they're not cheap at all. But uh, one of the things Al, Al was actually kind of alluding to it earlier. Um, you know, this is one of the things that's coming up. So that's the Knockout 2.0, and I am at some point going to be miking up some of the players. Oh. They don't know that yet, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also, I also have oh. um, the big break. The big break is going to be, it's it's been put on the back burner just for a second. What a great shot. Really? That was a really, <laughs> really good shot. Okay. Good shape here. Can float off the rail here and get good shape on the six. You're gonna have some interesting players to mic up their heads. I, I can. I think, have to pick I, and choose. I can. I can <laughs> think of one for certain that I would not mic up, or oh, definitely that I, would, that I would definitely mic up to hear some interesting things. Are are his is are his initials Lyle Gable? Oh, you know, speak, <laughs> speaking of Lyle Gable, are you gonna are you gonna have him sing the national anthem before the? kickoff well you know the only thing is i'd love to do that um the only thing is it there will only be two players here wow that's you know but, but i think but that's have, actually i like that idea but you'll have at least two or three people watching on the stream as well so that's true yeah. that is true all right um dom is what is he doing he's gonna he's playing well yeah he's, he's gonna, really coming out is firing he gonna, is he gonna draw I, Oh, he is going to draw here. I, just, I don't know if I like this. Oh, and that's why. Tried to cheat the pocket there. Yeah. He didn't have the <laughs> angle for that. I would have. I would have. I would have definitely <laughs> went two rails around. But you know, we can say that after. <laughs> oh my God! You guys are killing me in the chat tonight. <laughs> oh dear Lord. Kevin Dorn says, if you want the best audio, get a voice changer. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin, you're an <laughs> hole. Just so you know that, you son of a. <laughs> All right, what's the score here? Two to one. Fong Wen. Tom and Nina kind of giving up a little bit of an early or a late Christmas gift there. Yeah. That happens. I've never done that oh, for my opponent. Never. I've, I've never seen you do that. No. So that's uh, that's 2.0. And um, hmm. you know what? I got another idea, Al. Uh-oh. He's thinking again, people. Watch out. Be scared. Be very, very scared. Oh, well, made a ball. Changed his break a little bit on that one from the first break. There's a shot on the two, but that 3105 is just wicked. I think I'm playing safe here. I think I would too. I play that two over to the to the short rail and to the side rail and play the cue ball down here by the eight. You called it, Al. There you go. I, I, and I'll tell you what, this is not going to be an easy... Well, eh, not bad. Hey, the problem yeah, here, it's not problem, locked on that eight. Problem, pro yeah, problem here is, though, if you make the hit, you've got a real possibility of scratching here. Mm -hmm. So that's tough. And you, on that angle, I, I would not do this. I would go the other way. No. Nope. Good hit. Yeah. Never mind. This is a good opportunity for an early game for Fong. He could play this two ball and then play the three ten carom. Um, it's not wired. It's not easy, but I think it's possible. Well, are you going to have to go two rails anyway to get out from being locked behind the eight? So 
Uh, I already hit it too hard. I, I think he wanted to end up on this side, though. Boy, yeah, but that does make it tough. I, I think I would actually play safe now. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> Did, <laughs> Did not want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I think he had the right idea. It's 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 definitely not wired, but uh, it's uh, it's a free shot. Mm -hmm. I take it. I would too. <laughs> I, I, Michael, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna leave that one alone. I, I think that would probably be the best character out of the 16 players to put a microphone on. Yeah, yeah, that's probably. It's, yeah. Oh. Well, well, he didn't. I don't think he left him to 10. So. No, I think you're right. What is that? Uh, smoke is rolling in the comments. I, I'm not sure either. That's, uh, I think maybe out of my ears. I, I, I don't know. Well, if you haven't had an opportunity, everybody, uh, because this is um, a brand new channel, um, it was created in a very short amount of time um, and up and running there's nothing that I would appreciate more that if you haven't already uh, liked it and then subscribe to it as a subscriber. And here's the reason why. It costs you nothing to do it. Absolutely zero. But it means everything to me. And at, I, it, once, and I don't know if anybody knows how YouTube works, once you get a th above a thousand subscribers and there's no middle ground or anything, it has to be a thousand or above. I get monetized. So once I'm monetized, I can accept donations, um, the super chats, the. Um, I can't think of the other one. It, it, either way, so if, if you do get an opportunity and you like what you see and you can't stand what you hear uh, out of mine and Al's mouth, um, hit the subscribe button and then hit that little bell right next to it. That way, every time that we go live, you get a notification so you can nice see shot. what's coming up next. Nice shot by Tom there. Good touch. Just yeah, that was more. that was a, a fun little slow roll on that three. He had to hit that really well so it didn't skid on him. Ooh. Oh. Hit that one a little firm. Yeah, I mean, he, he kind of had to be, to get down to the five, but... Yeah, but what what people don't realize, uh, some people don't realize is hitting the ball hard is not always necessary. You nope. Can, you, can, you can do that with spin and, you know, probably half the pressure that you have to. <laughs> oh, my God. What a... What a <laughs> well, he, Fong's he, just kind of put his head between... Uh, uh, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I played that, but I forgot to get shape. Well, it, he's still at the table. He is. So he banked that four in about five rails. And yeah, and what you were talking about, Al, is the fact that you can accomplish the same exact thing. Uh, Dumper Dan and I were talking about it after his match last night, but you can accomplish the same thing. Take, Get rid of the speed and bring in some finesse. You know, you don't have to. It's not about muscle. Pool is not about. It's the same as golf. You know, there, it's it's not about your build or anything else or how hard you can hit it. It's what you how you can finesse it. That's right. Well, wow. Mad Matt says, "Why the change?" Um, I'm not going to address that tonight. I'm just I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, there's. I wanted to have a dedicated stream specifically for the Varsity Club, um, and there's there's a couple other things, but yeah, I'm not going to get into any of the details. We're all good. Yes, we are. 
Really, no pocket for the six ball. It's it's too thin of a cut, I think, I think to play. I think he's playing the ten. Playing the ten. Playing the ten ball. Oh boy. Oh, oh he, he called the six. That's, That's oh. not a bad shot because it was a really good two-way shot. Right. As soon as you could see him hit it, and then he's like, "All right, is it going to stay safe?" Yeah. That was well thought out. Yeah, I, I think he was hoping it wouldn't go in the pocket as well. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, it, it was if you call it safe, but yeah, it's, you're not playing calling safe. You're just playing a safe, trying to make the ball. Oh my god. Still not sure why he didn't take the 310. Uh, me as well. I think. <gasps> Oy. Yikes. And we all tend to do that rush a shot once in a while. Hey, yeah, get so excited that you're, you're back up at the table again after your opponent misses and. You forget your pre-shot routine and everything else. I played this well. Got himself a little angle to come out for the nine. Yeah, I think he'll be playing the eight and the nine in the same pocket. And ten most likely go in the side. Or all the way down, upper left. I think he can avoid hitting this 10 altogether. Just barely enough, just to kind of float past it a little bit. Even if it gives it a, a small little nudge, it's not going to hurt him. I almost like running into it better, though. Draw into it? I, I, even just even just middle ball, you're gonna, I think you're going to hit it with a little stun stroke, mm -hmm. and it's going to go towards the side rail, but it'll probably come out enough to get the side or the uh, pocket up in the corner. Go. Good shot. Opportunity for tying up this score in a race to 10. Might be in a, a race to 8 after this. Oh, there we go. All right. Indeed. So the boxing glove thing. Thank you, Al. I made so many. Here's the cool thing about the the streaming platform that I use is called V V Mix, and the cool thing about it is because it's in in the cloud or if you will, it's okay. cloud based. Okay. So I have the ability to make changes on my stream from home. Oh, okay. Which is it's really ooh, yeah, it's better, bad better, scratch. Better than sitting here till <laughs> oh my what gosh. time in the morning? So I was up until I, the last time I looked at the clock last night. I got home from our match that we, you know, our first semifinal match last night. Um, got home about ten thirty, or I'm sorry, about ten o'clock, somewhere around there. I went to bed the or the last time I looked at the clock because I was working on all of this was four fifty one this morning. <laughs> wow. All right, two seven combo looks like, and uh, safe. That's it, you know. Well, definitely no easy hit here. It's, it can't even. It, I almost a mass a here. For what? For whatever reason, I, I just, I that mass a. I was just thinking of Chris Melling. Oh yeah, yeah. Remember that shot? I remember that. I see that. I best watched out. that the other day. Best, I love best that run out video. I've ever seen? Yeah, yeah. That was eight ball, right? He came, yeah, yeah, eight, eight ball, ball because he had to go through all the traffic. For yeah, the, the the one ball had to go four rails. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was incredible. Yeah. And if you've never seen that, yeah, do it. Actually, if you just go to YouTube and oh no. Hooked himself behind the five. 
Yeah, if you go to YouTube and just put in Chris Melling best out or something like that, if you, I, I would think probably every pool player on the planet has already seen oh, it. Man. I think it's got like 31 or 32 million views. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> if you pull up anything on pool on on YouTube, it's most likely going to be something that will come up. I love to watch snooker a lot. And Ronnie O'Sullivan is one of the best in the business. Oh, for sure. And, I mean, you can, we can talk about Efren being the GOAT, but... Uh, Not and, when it comes to you, snooker. You're talking about snooker. And, and really, I mean, Ronnie can play any game, so it's, it's not just snooker. But when he comes to snooker, just watching some of the things he does... And I'm, and I'm almost guaranteed that if anybody who knows anything about snooker, they've changed it a little bit now. Yeah. They've added an extra ball, a golden ball. And nobody has went for a max run out on that yet, but I'm pretty sure that it's I, would put, I would put money that Ronnie's going to be the one to do it. One of my favorite players to watch is he actually played in the U.S. Open is Judd Trump. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I just yeah. I love watching him play snooker. I'm not a huge snooker plan, but a pan, a fan. But if it's on, uh, I'll I'll watch it. Yep. It's good stuff. Pool. Hey, um, Mad Matt. Don't uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're not stirring anything. I I promise you. It's all good. I appreciate you being here all the time. Uh, as long as as well as everybody else that's in the chat. Um, all the viewers. Every one of you. Much, much appreciated. All right, so. Thank you, by the way, for your comment. Are you Mad. Mad Matt. So is he playing for, what is he playing for shape here? I think he almost has to play the 6-10 combo. Right. I, I don't see another pocket. Can we get a end view there? No. Oh, okay. You mean that one? That one, yes. You know, though, I I almost like if you, well, you you can play for the six ten maybe, but if you get long on that on the position, you might be able to play safe and then play the six in between the eight and ten. Sure. And leave the cue ball right in between there. We'll see. This this way, he's. I think he's going to run into the nine no matter what. Oh nope. Yeah. Yeah, it's either the six ten or he's gonna have to play safe. I doubt he goes for the bank in the upper left, but you never know. Yeah. Oh. He's banking it in the up oh. Upper left? Yeah. He is banking it? The upper right. He was calling the upper right. Interesting. I didn't I didn't, I didn't think that would go. Ten, yeah. I see a, a save coming here. I think uh Fong is probably gonna just drift forward and put that cue ball behind the nine. That's a pretty good bet. Oh, Leave them long. Nothing wrong with that either. No, no. It's cuttable. It's not a good percentage cuttable, but. <clears throat> so, Al, have you ever been up to the bird sanctuary up in Green Bay? No, I don't think I have. Up by Bay Beach? You ever been to Bay Beach? Uh, yeah, once, I think, a while back. So two years ago, I was on the way to uh, a job site, and there was a red-tailed hawk okay. sitting on uh, one of the road signs. And as soon as I drove up, it, it, his, one of his wings was, you could tell it was messed up because it was kind of hanging down whatever and he flew down into the middle of the road and i'm like what in the heck there's something wrong with him you yeah. know so oh that's fortunate pretty role. fortunate there 
So, it took me about a half an hour, but I ended up getting a blanket over the top of them. And taking, uh, I gave them to Lisa, and Lisa took him up to the bird sanctuary okay. up in Green Bay. And he had a couple of injuries and whatever, but he was a juvenile that over ate. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... It, it was not due to any injury or anything else that he was ended up on the road or whatever. He overate, so he couldn't fly. He was too fat. Okay. All right. <laughs> it okay. was funny as hell. So okay. the kids, we took it home first, then put it in a, a container, and then the kids named him Tony. Okay. Tony Hawk. Oh, Tony Hawk. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, it was hilarious. Yeah. So Lisa and I went, even on no sleep, uh, Lisa and I went up to uh, Green Bay today, up to the, we always eat at Margarita's. It's an awesome Mexican restaurant. And then we went to um, the Bird Sanctuary afterwards. If anybody's ever been up there, it's it's pretty cool. So we told them we're, we're here to see Tony Hawk, and they're like, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, th this isn't a skate park. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, um, I joke with just about everybody that, that I see. And uh, the lady's like, I don't think we have a Tony Hawk here. Or, so they rehabilitated him. They, uh -huh. they He was there for a couple of weeks, and then they and let they him, really let him fly. Yeah. So it's just kind of a <laughs> fun story of... I should I should dig up the pictures and show everybody Tony Hawk. All right, this might be a little bit of spot of trouble here for yeah, Tom because he is really straight on on this nine ball. Yeah. So he's either going to have to draw all the way back to where he's standing right now and play past the outer points. I don't. Al, do you see an angle where he can I'd say so. force Maybe a, it? A little bit of an angle, but we've seen it. We, we've already seen where he's tried to force a couple of shots and missed, and I that would be on my mind. I know it would. So I think <laughs> I think I think I just take my medicine and uh, hit this firm, but not too firm, and just take what I get. Uh, but he hit it well. Hit the draw. Yeah, was really that was good. that was really Tru well struck. Concentrated on the way he was stroking the ball and making the ball, and it took what he could, would get. And he ended up well. <gasps> oh, <laughs> caught the outer point. Yeah, and that's why I don't like going to the short side. Yeah, there, but I, I don't think he had much of a choice. No, but he yeah, did. he did. But that's. I'll yeah. tell you, he didn't leave Fong with an easy shot here. This is, I'll, I'll give you a different view, and it's not terrible, but I wouldn't mind it if, you know, uh, made it look easy. Yeah. All right, Fong goes up three to two. So, uh, Michael Masevich says, Bird Sanctuary, man, this stream is going downhill. <laughs> yeah, you're more than welcome to watch somewhere else. Mike. That's funny stuff right there. <laughs> of course, Brittany in there saying, "Let's go, Fong Bong." At, that was filling up the last ch or the last time uh, Fong was playing. Damn, he hit some hard. I, I made a ball and pocketed a ball. Ooh, and this goes off the seven too. Shape to the two might be a little bit of an issue. I, I think if you just play it a little low and just sort of stun it, you, know, you should be able to make the one. Because the one's going to go forward if you play low. Mm -hmm. So it should be. I'm going to have to hit this hard, though. Oh. Hit it too hard. He tried to cut it instead of. Oh, look at the shape he ended up. Yeah. And ended up safe. Yikes. Uh, your wife said that's a great Mexican restaurant, so I'm assuming you guys have been to one of them. Uh, I think I think we like 
a lot of Mexican restaurants, oh. so she's maybe wondering where it's <laughs> at. She didn't put a question mark there, but I think she eats uh, But we could have been there as well. It's, I, we will, we've been to a lot of places up in Green Bay, so it's... So if you look at the chat, Al, and you look at Kevin Dorn, does it look to you like he's having a stroke? It seems like he might be having a stroke, so yeah, I, well, I don't know if... Do you need help, buddy? I think, I think those are all the faces he he makes when he looks at you, so it's... Oh, there's no doubt about it, but uh, it, it seriously looks like he's having a stroke. Uh, so... Hey, are you asking hey, for Hey, do help? you want you want me to call somebody, buddy? Is <laughs> 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 he going to play the 10 here? <laughs> he's playing the 10. He is playing the 10. Well, I better put a boxing glove up there for uh, Fong before I forget. Yep. There we go. He did call the 10. Not a bad shot. Oh. Ooh. Oh, and he may. No. I don't think he's. No, I don't think he's uh, going to get enough of it to play the carom. I think he'd like to. Um, so I did not know that. Fred Renner just mentioned that. So Michael Parker left his, um, I think it's Parker Builders jacket up oh, yes. at he Wispa. Back. Yes. Yeah, so he, I'm glad you got it back, buddy. Oh, that, that. I think somebody made the comment, too. You know, I, it seems like intentional advertising. Right. You know, like, oh, yeah, I'll just, uh, you know, accidentally leave this jacket here and... No, he's he's no. not he's not building anymore. No. His business is no. he's retired or just and, tired. And it was it was good. I mean that with everything that went on there with Westbound and everything. I mean it's it takes a while for them to figure out, you know, somebody puts something somewhere and doesn't, you know, it's a put, big it, place. put it the right place or something, you know, so Yeah, that Expo Center is huge. Yeah, it is. It's, It's an inter interesting rack because this two to the three and then the three to the four. Well, if he gets if he gets a shot on the three, um, the rest is pretty easy. Yeah, you gotta come to the. You gotta play the three up in the upper right corner there. So it's getting getting there is <laughs> gonna be tough. Oh. <laughs> Who invited uh, your wife into the chat, Al Holden? <laughs> well, she, she, she's right on both counts there, believe me. <laughs> uh, that's funny stuff. I believe there's no one shorter than Al's. There's only one thing shorter than Al's memory. That's little cheddar. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have, we appreciate you watching, Leanne. I must be that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love it. Great. Must be awesome. must be that the brewer game was not going so well because she was going to watch that as well. But you don't have two big screen TVs where you can watch both at the same time. No, I don't have two big screen TVs. But it's uh, you put it you put it on and you flip it back and forth. So it's, uh, Michael says, "Well, at two a.m., it's hard to remember anything." <laughs> Uh, it kind of Michael. When you're in here with with Dale, it sort of runs all together, you know. It, I I think actually, so he's. I think he's referring to leaving his jacket up at Wisp. Oh, okay. So that, that could be too. Yes. And yes. and and let's not forget. I think that may have been Budweiser induced. Yes, Michael. You know. Nice. Safe, just man. saying. I think it was Budweiser that I got you right. I think I think you can see the edge of this four. Oh, well, maybe not. He's on. He's. I think he's locked on the ten there. You could see that probably. I'm, really I'm like looking it. right down the barrel, and I think he can catch a piece of the four. Okay. Let's give him a different view. Whoa, oh, that is close. <laughs> he's looking. Uh, to, he's looking to play safe behind a six, I think. Oh, it's pretty. pretty Look at this. Struck. Oh, uh, so close to perfect. Yeah, but he still got him. So. Seven was a big ball there. 
Oh yeah, Bud Light. <laughs> oh, I guess you can see more of this. Oh, he's kicking it. Okay. Ooh. You know, it's kind of unfor unfortunate that he hit uh, both of the outer points there, because that four would have ended up in a completely different position on the table. Yes, it would have. Off angle on the six here, but he's got a big pocket there with the ten there. I think I play into the ten to open it up so you don't. I mean, the seven is goes by the ten, but oh, yeah, I was gonna uh, just. Oh boy, he left Tom pretty tough too. Yeah. <clears throat> This is going to make for an interesting <laughs> shot. Tom's just laughing. <laughs> Al, I think I lost my boxing gloves. Uh-oh. I don't know where they went. I, they're over in the display case. <laughs> <laughs> funny man. <laughs> funny, funny man. Uh, here we go. <gasps> Found him. Oh, 10 ball. Yeah, that would be a foul. Well, at least he doesn't have to worry about Pong going for a <coughs> three foul here. It's no. Not enough balls, I'll tell you what, I don't think. No. And he, no matter what, as soon as you hit the six, it's going in the pocket, so. Uh, I don't think I'd play it this way. I. I think I would have tried to move that 10 ball out of there I a little more. I think I would have, too. Because now he's going to get on the short side of that 9. Exactly. And with the 8 on the rail over here, that's... I mean, he could play a 9-10 combo, but I, I don't know. I don't like that. Oh, Ooh. wow. Overcut. Leon says, 7th inning, 3 to nothing, Texas. So that... If they end up losing, that'll be their first loss, though, right? Uh, yes, the Brewers. But it's, yeah, uh, but it's last night was I opening night. I don't want to. I don't want to correct my wife. But the Mariners. I'd leave it alone. The Mariners are from Seattle, not Texas. <laughs> All right, we'll leave that alone. Ah, oh, anyway. Yes, I know they were losing two to nothing on my when I was driving up here, so. You know, I'm I'm not in disagreement with you, Michael Parker. I th I think uh, all the viewers, including myself, I lo I love watching Hill Hill games. Uh -huh, yeah. We haven't seen one in a while, and it just makes for interesting viewing as well. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, it is starting to fill up. That's the second time that. Yeah, Those time. outer points have gotten the best of Tom Manina there. Left Fong, pretty tough cut here. Very thin. <clears throat> Plus the cue ball is going to be on the fly. Right. Al, you probably have never heard this before in your life Okay. from your wife, but she said, you're right. I would take a screenshot of that. No. And no, because no matter take, what take you it do, home with you. No matter what you do, you cannot bring it up again. Because oh, if you do, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, that's, yeah, yeah. No, that's you guys it's never been, a good thing. Yeah, you guys have been married for a long, long, long time. So. Uh, March twelfth was twenty five years. Jeepers, Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Happy, happy belated anniversary. Yeah, but you, yeah, you and I both know that. Yeah. Yeah, it's even you when have to pick even your when spots, you're right, you're wrong. You have to pick your spots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a half a laugh. Oh, 
Bad Bat says cold in there or what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if nobody gets that joke, I am so sorry to be you. <laughs> That's oh. that. Uh, I don't care who you are. That's some funny <laughs> right there. Oh gosh! Uh, oh, both both outer points. It, it it obviously it must be getting colder in here too. <laughs> uh, I think that's the funniest comment of the night so far. Hey, if you don't know how Outer Points got its name, we'll ask somebody. It's a it's a it's a fun story. It's a fun long story. <laughs> <laughs> I you but know it's fun. I I'd love to show. Oh. Whoa! Wow! Who expected that? Not me. Not this guy. Well, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and mark it right now uh, that it's going to be three to three because there, there. I don't think there's any way that Tom is not getting out of this rack. So a little preemptive. That way, I can do what I'm going to do next. There we go. All right, so this is what Al was talking about earlier. So these are, this is the second place trophy. Um, I, I really love how they turned out. I, I think they look cool as hell so far. Um, the only thing missing is I want to get the Outer Points Productions logo and Varsity Club logo on there. But it, it, the word, it, it has to be like a sticker. You know, right, and then right, the sticker's right. going to come off and whatever. So, I no. may just leave them the way they are. I don't know. You could you could get a patch. You could get a patch. A, Iron a, it a on or something. Oh, well, a small patch that could even be sewn between the by, just above premiere there. Sure. And just below the, uh, two, uh, twenty twenty four. If you haven't already seen the first place trophy, there it is. And that's actual size. That is actual. <laughs> <laughs> that's my old nine foot table from the house so somebody somebody's gonna get it all right uh tom broke and pocketed what ball is missing out there uh looks like the ugh, four ball Yep. Nope. No nope. balls in there. Uh, seven, three. three. Three is ball. down. Three three ball. Three ball went in. Oh, yeah. I just shot at that. I didn't Ooh, think it did. It's going to be tough to get on the four here. Oh. I, I like I like inside English here. We're running, running inside English here. Going two rails around. Oh, he's playing. Yeah. Oh, that was. There's, there, oh. there was a little bit of traffic. He did get a, I get a look at piece it. of it. Yeah. Five is ugly though. Oh, that's a great idea, Matt. I love that idea. Um, the hard part is I don't know if there's enough room on those two gloves for. Well, actually, if you put sixteen signatures on each glove, that would. I love that idea, Matt. I am going to do that. The hard part is. Getting a hold of everybody, and, yeah, right? and having they'd have to come down to Varsity Club to sign. But that's a fabulous idea, having everybody sign the gloves. You know what? I couldn't agree more, Fred Renner. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Forty-four viewers and only nine likes. Come on, people. Um, Michael Parker. So, if if anybody knows the story behind Outer Outer Point Streaming, or yeah, if you don't know the story, uh, it's none of your business. And you'd have to look in the chat to see how none was spelled. Uh, that's what makes the story so funny. So, well, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna type that out the story and just put it. Put it on the the stream for everybody to read at like a player break or something, you know. Be like the the motto or the of the 
outer points. Yeah. We have to get some outer points shirts made up. There you go. Put it on. <laughs> put it on the outer points shirts. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then we have the picture of the the nun. <laughs> oh my! Yikes! Yeah, we'll get shut down for sure. <laughs> Whew. Excuse Bless me. You. Bless you. Excuse me. Well, I'll tell you what. That was. That's some freaking awesome shape on that five ball. Oh, yeah, it was. A little bit of an angle towards the nine that he might be able to draw out of this enough. Yep, he did. Well, too much spin there. Yeah, good shot. Well played. Yep. Yeah. Nice touch. Big shot here. Seven to the eight is not simple. I think I would go uh, force follow and go around the nine. High right. Yep, just like that. That's a really good shot. And now he can force the cue ball into the nine ball or into the ten ball and kind of use it as a stopper if he so chooses for almost a straight in shot on the nine. Or just play it straight, too. Yeah, you got an angle there to just float off the rail and be straight in on a 10. All right, Tom with an opportunity to take the lead for the first time in this match. Oh. Ooh, left himself on the rail. Never fun. Nope. It. Yeah. Tom says, uh, yeah, watch this. Yeah. Be it, put me on the rail. No problem. He just needed to practice, I think. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. All right. uh, four to three here. Still a long way to 10, though. Whew. That cue ball was flying. Yeah. All right. I don't know if that one goes past that nine ball down in the corner, but if it does, you just stop it right there for the two in the side, and this is not a tough rack. No. Yeah. If he misses, actually, it's a two-way shot. Ooh, if he hit, if he, he hadn't hit, hit it so firm. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no no easy shot here. I don't think the one. No. Board, you could maybe hit this with pocket speed, but. I think I'd put that cue ball right behind the two. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. Play safe and park it right. Well, being because the then rail, it's a tough hit. Being on the rail, you're probably going to roll there anyway. So Michael says the gloves might be cooler than the table, especially if they're signed. Well, not if you have these on it, though. There you go. Because those are all the the chips. So now, now, now that we're kind of at that point, let me get you back to the table. I don't want to miss any of the action here. Oh, oh just wow. yikes. Um, so throughout the whole entire competition, so we started out with 32 players if you haven't been here from the beginning. Um, after the first round, whoever won got one of those chips, the challenge chips. Ooh, nice three-railer inside the pocket there. And got shape Good up angle, too. Yeah. So everybody got one of those chips. Now, every time that you play the next match... I told every one of the opponents, or the players, you have to bring that chip along with you. Because at the end of the match, um, if you lose the match, you have to give your chip to your opponent. 
So at the end of the finals, uh, the winner is going to have, including their own, they are going to have 16 of the challenge ships to put on that table. So that's why, if actually, if you look at that picture, uh, put it back up there real quick, there's 16 ships sitting there. So couldn't change the logo yet on the... Right, yep. right, understand. So, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, uh, Michael. And, and that was kind of the... It, it took me a little, little while to think of exactly what I wanted to do for uh, first and second trophy. Um, but I think... I think both of them are pretty cool. Yeah. Boy, I'll tell you what. Tom is really good at slow rolling balls. Al and I have talked about it repeatedly on the stream. You know, you look at their Fargo. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. It's it's 33 points, but really 33 points, you could that doesn't relate to how well you play or are people people don't realize the mental side of this game that you know you have to have to be able to play this game. It's yeah, at a at a high level. No yeah. doubt. Even even at even at, at at the level of being, you're you may you may play at a level that is five thirty one or five sixty four, but your mental ability is probably above that mm -hmm. because you know to get that far you have to be able to know the game and know more. I mean, all the shots have to be there. Even if you don't make them all, you you have to know how to play those shots in no sure. doubt well th this is a uh, huge opportunity for Tom to go up by two games three in a row two yeah Shot. Oh, oh it's skidded on him yeah it's skidded I played inside on that he did you know and that's I was we were just talking about it how he's good at you know slow rolling balls and whatever else but that is a direct a skid is always a direct result of a bad shot yeah. it's it's people blame it on dirt on the balls and chalk and everything else that's not the case my opinion it's just a poorly struck shot well i i have to apologize to tom because i hit him with the commentator's curse which I think we both did. Which we don't believe in, but it happens. I, I think we both did. Okay. So, now we're all knotted up at four. Raced to ten. Actually, now a race to six. All right, while well, Fong is racking. Get that score updated real quick. Then I am going to go through... All right, this is Fong's bio, if you will. Uh, age 35, lives in Kakana, Wisconsin. Had been playing for 17 years. And actually, Fong works at, he just got a new job up at Texas Roadhouse. And uh, works at Matt Apple. He's the tournament director at Matt Apple and does a freaking awesome job of it. Uh, huge advocate of the game itself. Loves to play one, bo one pocket. Uh, his playing cue is a McDermott, and like I said, his favorite restaurant is Texas Roadhouse. I would hope so at this point. Uh, otherwise, if your boss is watching, Fong, um, you may not have a job tomorrow. So anyway, so far up to this point, he's knocked out Chris Green, 8-4, to four, Jim Reese, the other tournament director here at Vers Varsity Club, 8-5, to five, and then round three was Todd Schmidt, 8-5. to five. So... That player spotlight, even though he plays with a McDermott Q, is sponsored by JP Shower Qs. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we'll get to Tom's bio in just a little bit. Uh, let's get back to the action so you don't miss any of that. So Fong did pocket the one ball on the break and elected to play safe on the two ball. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If this hits the 10, 
Whoo! <laughs> if that would have hit the 10, it would have lined up a 210 combo easily. Yeah, but this rack is pretty open. I don't see a lot of trouble here. Everything has a pocket that I see. Roger Pregler in the house saying hi all. Uh, good luck to both, but I have to root for my Tuesday teammate, Fong Wen. There you go. And uh, Brittany Nguyen is in 100% agreement with you, Roger. Oh. Caught a little piece of that eight ball. Uh, Team Fong Bong. And uh, if you don't know who that guy is right there in Wisconsin Pool Player Society, that gentleman is the none other than Andy Coons. Um, one of my newest sponsors on the stream, and it is a pleasure having him. Uh, and his wife, Bobby Joe of Home Sweet Home Realty down in Waupon, Wisconsin. And we'll get that uh, sponsor sheet up there in a little while. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Actually, Andy and his wife and kids were up here last night, and at the end of the match, they were playing on the stream table for a little while after you I okay. think you might have left already so it was good to see Andy okay what are you doing here this is not I don't see a shot here I don't really see a safe here either you know it's such an easy scratch if you hit it too thin I mean he can avoid it but I don't think I think he's going to leave Fong with a three-six combo, no matter what. Or I think I think the best option here is just to roll up on it and touch the three to the rail, avoid hitting the eight on your way in, and uh, hope for the best. That's mm -hmm. you don't have a lot there to. Yeah, this is a tough shot. I think he's trying to do something here. He's Give you a, a little better view of this. Oh, hit it firm with some draw didn't turn out the way he had hoped but no. now that makes that five ball even harder there it's jacked up over the eight ball these are always fun oh and he drills it wow that was a well-struck shot. <laughs> Vincent Didio in the chat, one of the former contestants in uh, KO 1.0. Uh, Vincent actually asked me the other day, and I'm, I'm super excited for him to jump into the booth uh, because he plays with a lot of the guys that are in KO 2.0 down in Fond du Lac so he has to come wow how does that not go in <laughs> jeez wow. alright 5-6 six, com six combo make sure you don't get behind the 8 ball with the cue ball well, I, he, think, I think he'll do just he, fine he on likes that. to slow roll mm -hmm. so that's Quite a bit of back and forth in this match. Yes, there is. I did. And these these guys play well enough. I think you know it, it's the pressure part of it. You know, you're you're excited to be playing. You're a little nervous on how you're playing because you're on the stream. Mm -hmm. So it's well struck there. Very nice. You know, that's been the fun part of this, uh, for me anyway. I don't know about you, Al, but I get nervous for the players. And I get, because I'm, I, as much as, as a streamer, I like to put myself in the shoes of the players. You know, we, you and I have both been there many times. Well, you know, how many times have you and I played on a stream, though? Right, You right. know, well, very, probably very, I've played on a stream many times well, and got my ass kicked. Right, and I and I put myself in the in the pool player spot all the time when I when I watch any stream. I know you don't do that because you don't know what it's like to be a pool player, but um, 
Point being, point being that we we feel for the pool players. <laughs> okay, that's some funny <laughs> right there. I don't care who you are. Get the <laughs> out of here. All right. All right. Tom's taking the lead again. Nobody so far has had a two-game lead in this match. Tom Manina most likely going to the halfway point first. Yep. Very well played there. Had it, what, five, six ball out there? David Searing in the house. What's going on, David? All right. Uh, just kind of give this is a little bit of a preview um, this oh. is this is the new and improved this this is the player profile sheets for the 2.0 wow. um, I, I sat and designed all of this well the background obviously I did not but um, I love how they turned out <laughs> I, I don't think you designed the player either uh, no, oh, no, no, no. Uh, Tim did that all on his own. Actually, his his parents probably did. So, this is just a sneak peek as to what you're going to be seeing coming up. All right, Tom with a dry break and leaving Fong with a shot on the one ball. Not really much to get to the. The two is going to be tough. Two tens coming, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. You gotta slow roll this and hope you don't get behind the three. Of course, Fong doesn't play that way. Vincent Didio says the uh, that corner pocket is. Oh, uh, he's not, he's not kidding either, and it's a hundred percent true that for whatever reason, you look at the bottom left of your screen, that pocket for some reason has been brutal. Yeah, we've seen a lot of balls missed in that pocket. Um. Right idea. I, I like what Fong was thinking there. Hit it a little too firm. Yeah. So kind of getting back to what I was saying before, you, as even from the booth, I can feel their nerves. You know, if that makes any sense at all, um, but you can tell by as, as many hours as I put in this booth and watching the players, you can really start to tell when uh, they get nervous and you know things aren't going their way. And but been a fun ride. Yeah. All right, what are you gonna do here, Al? Uh, I think I'm playing safe here. Uh, it's kind of hard to figure out. Maybe maybe play the the four, just roll the four into a seven. I don't know. Maybe even call a ten. It's you're going that way. I like that idea. But I I like that idea. I think he called something else here. So he played. He called the, the four. Yep, down in that corner pocket there. And got saved. Good two-way shot. Yeah. I think. Uh, well, there's the thought here is to maybe get out the jump cue, but I kind of, I kind of like kicking at this too. I like, I like coming off the rail and kicking this in. But we are going to go airborne. Yeah, I think the only thing with the kick, though, is then the cue ball is headed towards the eight ball. Right. And then right. who knows where it's going to end up. If he if he makes this, he might end up with a shot on the five if he's got a little bit of draw or a stop to it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. I, he's very fortunate that did not bounce just a little bit harder because that would have lined up the 4-10. It's, it's still... It's playable if he if he so chooses, but I think I would just go for the run out here. He's drawing this ball. You know it. Oh. It, it look. Oh, oh no. no! Oh my gosh! Whoa! Well, he got forced. I think he got forced. Uh, yeah. For where this four ball ended up, I don't. 
he might be able to play the carom, though. I don't know. That's pretty... Yeah. I'll yeah, watch. he's playing the carom. He did call the 10. Uh, it, no! That's, yeah, that's what I was... <laughs> it's a good try. <laughs> this is good stuff. I don't yeah. care who you are. This is good stuff. I'm, I'm right there with Michael Parker. I want to see this go hill, hill. Well, I'll tell you what. As a player... I would hate where this 10 ball is right now. Because you miss, it's probably going to cost you the game. I I got to play safe here. I think so. I, I mean, there's, you cannot go aggressive on this. The only thing I might attempt is the bank in the upper right, but call the 10 ball. Play the carom. He's cutting this ball. Oh, and that little rub on the seven just gave Tom an easy shot on the five ball. That's a good shot, avoiding getting... You know, instead of playing that in the side pocket, which is the easiest, you know, he avoided the possibility of getting behind the nine ball. Yep. Smart. Okay. Getting to the eight here. I, yeah. Have at it, Al. They get to, yeah, you got to hit this with low right spin. Come two rails. And that nine ball is, I don't think you're going to hit it, but you got to watch out for that side pocket. That's, oh, and he's going inside, going around three rails. Uh, you avoid that? <gasps> oh my gosh. And ew. that was so fortunate. He did not get to catch a bigger piece of that nine ball because it had he hit another eighth inch of the nine, yeah. that cue ball's going in the side pocket. Yeah, and then sure. it's ball in hand with three balls on the table. That is for sure. So this is not simple. Yeah. You you play the bank and just hope no. for the best. Do you <laughs> do you do you play the do you play the carom and play the 10? I think... These are all thoughts right now that I'm going through. I think if he played he's, the carom, though, yeah, he's thinning it's, this it's ball, a though. scratch. He's thinning this ball. Oh. And he overcut it. Wow. And did didn't now, come out bad. Now, <laughs> what do you call? Oh. What What do you call if you're Fong? This is, this is awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a, a different view of this just because you can kind of look right down the barrel at what's going on. This is a wow! wow that was really wow. well well struck. Yeah, now you gotta come up with another one. Wow. Yeah, this is I think this is just about as hard as the bank. You make this, you win the game. Yep. You miss. I mean, he could end up putting it in a bad spot if he misses, but. Wow. This Four might rails. go in. Four rails. It might go oh. in anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that would have been the shot of the night. Uh, I mean, that literally would have been the shot of the night. That would have been the for... shot of the tournament. Really? <laughs> I, I watched Miss almost it and every watch it go stream. four rails. Wow. Well, Tom is going to jump out to a 6 4 lead here. I'm really surprised that this game got all the way down to. Yeah. Shooting this 10. Yeah. I thought at some points the carom or, or a combo or something. Even even a, a called shot and the cue ball goes flying on you or something. All right. While Tom is racking. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm not ready for that yet. Uh oh.
Wait, yes I am. No, I'm not. Yes I am. No, I am. I'll do it real quick while he's breaking. There you go. So Tom Anita is 38 years old, and he resides in Nina, Wisconsin. Um, been playing for 30 of those. He started when he was 8. Wait a second. Wait a second. He's really been playing since he was 8 eight years old. Is that true, Joe? Anyway, his favorite game is 9 Ball, so neither one of these guys are playing their favorite game tonight. Uh, plays with a Jacoby. And his favorite restaurant is the same as Fong's, uh, Texas Roadhouse. How he got here, he, in the first round, knocked out Spencer Busnelli, 8-6. Jim Rusnick, 8-5. And the last match uh, took out Roger Pregler, 9-7. Uh, this player spotlight is sponsored by my nephew, Cody Retlick. And uh, he is the owner and operator of Midwest Aerial Productions. So that is the player bio of Tom Manina. There we go, airborne. With a full cue. That's he shoots. He shoots every jump shot like that. He shoots every jump shot. Oh, look at this! Cue. Look at this! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> that's that's and that's why you use a jump cue. Ooh. You may not make every shot, but that's that's the roll that, of the you, day. You, there, you, you hit the ball and you. Take what, what comes, and sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, he plays. He plays every shot with a with a full cue. He uses a blackout break jump cue, and he does all his jumping with that. Nice. All right, Tom, going for the Z kick, and unsuccessfully given Fong ball in hand and this is a very runnable rack I, I think and, and again it's still kind of mid-match but I think Fong has to get out here I think he's got to get this to 6-5 yeah. he does not want to go down 7-4 seven, seven, in this match so either get out or play a good safe on on one of the shots. Yeah, I think the, the toughest thing is right now is this is a key shot, getting to the three mm -hmm. ball and getting the shape to and The only other potential tough shot I think might be the seven to the eight. Okay. And even th honestly that's that's not even that hard. He's got the perfect angle for this three to the four. I I, I honestly see Fong really starting I think he's going to slow down his action a little bit. He's going to be a little bit. Somebody mentioned that before about being. Oh boy. Uh oh. A little steep here. Yeah. About being a little bit more deliberate in his. Yeah, I think that was uh, David Searin. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is coming up a little bit cheddar. Give me a different view and you can see what I'm talking about. He did not leave himself with the easiest. Six is makeable. Um but the shape of the seven. To the yeah, getting to the seven is brutal. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. I think he is hooked. Yes, he is. You know, and that's it's a direct result of the shape from the four to the five and the five to the six. You know, right, that yeah. a little less and this is a tough hit. It is. I think I I would not shoot it like this. I would go one rail. I would get the bridge and go one rail because this is a tough hit this way. Oh my gosh. That was a beautiful shot. Oh and he's gonna get And he's lucky. gonna get safe. Wow. Are you serious? That was a hell of a hit. I, I'm telling you. Oh, miscue. Oh, miscue. Yep. You know, the the angle in which he had to hit that cue ball, it, he made it look easy. It, it was not.
Ja. Yeah, he might be a little straight on this. Maybe not too serious. Okay. Yep, take what you get. Yep. Probably going to play the 10 in the lower left. He could try to draw out of this. I, I don't think I would. Well, he likes to spin I, the ball, I just like so. to go behind... Yeah, that's. Ooh, I don't like that. Oh boy! You you play that with less spin, you come on the other side of the table. Right, right. What? Make the ball, and you're good. So six five. I'm getting nervous. We're getting, we're getting, <laughs> we're getting closer to that hill, hill. Yeah, we're getting down the nitty gritty here. Yeah, we're, well, we got a ways to go. You yet, know, we still don't. We fun. Don't, we don't know what's going on, but hey. Uh, you see, Joe Menina answered your question from the... Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been playing for... Since I was about 8, 10 years old myself, so it's... Oh, one falls in the side. Ugh, no shot on two. You can't, you can't... <laughs> this, this oh. You know what? You know what? You know what? Though I see something. Uh, this is what I'm doing. Kick I'm, at it. I'm playing. I'm playing to kick off the side yep. rail. Yeah, I like and, it. And you just and you, but you're not. You're hitting us with pocket speed. You're not hitting us hard. You're not. You know. I like that shot. And you're on the three. You can't. You can't draw this ball. You can't slow roll it. Here's here's what Al's look talk, talking about. See how far it's past the side pocket. I don't think he can make it in the side. He'd have to hit it like super super thin. This this is a good shot. It's. Yeah. I don't think he left Tom uh, with. Think, think he it, might have the I two think, four combo. Yeah, I think he does. Oh sure. Actually, let's get the long view, and I think. Oh yeah, that definitely goes through there. I don't know that I'm trying this ball. Oh wow! What? Wow! Did he plan on making what both of those? Shot. Are you serious? What a shot! No doubt. <laughs> so what? Is, what is your wife referring to there, Al? Um, something about dinosaurs roamed back then. She might be referring to either one of us at our age. Uh, when I, when I, she was talking, she's talking about when I said that I played, uh, started playing when I was eight, ten years old. She's saying dinosaurs were that too. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Which, which she is true. You know, we we used rocks for balls and uh, sure sticks. You know, that's just like they used to use rocks for for wheels. You know, it's the same thing. Yep. You know, so use a use a stick. You know. And, Take and take and cut off a, a a tusk of a woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoth, and you know, file it down. You got to make yourself a, a nice cue over that. Might be a little crooked, but <laughs> the way we shoot it. Yeah, around, I was gonna say the way, yeah, I don't. I really don't think it really matters all that much. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh, and he gets behind uh -oh. the ten ball or uh, behind the eight ball. That is a very fortunate miss. Jump cue coming out again. Oh, he's actually breaking it down. Breaking it down. Going to go overhand. Maybe. Very easy to pocket the five ball. Getting a shot on the six ball is another story. Oh, well, he might strong. get it. Wow. I don't know if I like this shot. I, I love the jump. I love the fact that he got 
shape. I think um, I think the nine's in the way of the going in the corner though. So I, I think if yeah, you, getting if getting shape on the seven. Yeah, I I would I would almost play safe here. I I think I, I would I, too. I'd roll up on the seven. Oh, this does go to past the nine. Oh, he's playing it off the seven. I think. Uh oh, uh oh, that is gonna sit right yeah. by the side. And it got by. That it, did it, not dress up the way he had hoped. He hit that one way too firm. Yeah. If you're gonna play that shot, you got to play it a lot softer. I'll tell you what, any harder than that cue ball is going right in that side pocket. Or it's on the outer point. It's yeah. That would have been. <laughs> I mean, we've all done that, right? We've rolled, no. rolled for shape and ended up right right behind the not outer me. point. Oh, my gosh. No, not that's, me. that's the worst feeling in the world. I played... I went down to Sussex one time, one of the first times I ever went down there. And when we were warming up, everybody was warming up on tables, and uh, Jeff Brown was playing. And there's like, they're warming up, we're warming up playing 10 ball, I believe. And he plays shape on the ball, and there's only three balls left on the table, and he rolls right behind the outer point. And he, he starts blaming the table. I uh, bet Jeff was, <laughs> knowing Jeff Brown as long as I have, um, I bet he was thrilled. Oh, yeah. He's joking around Jeff, about it. Jeff's one of my, my very good friends. It's a great, great guy. Yeah. He's done a lot of changes in his life, and I give him a lot of freaking credit. Oh, we all have. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've all went through. All right, this for another two-game lead again. And that. And we're going to have a player break here. All right, so what I'll do then is just put, because I haven't got my other one. Oh, let's put this up there, shall we? That way you can take a look at all of the people that are responsible in helping me get to where we are today. Because if it wasn't for them, um, <laughs> this this is a big expense. If, if you hadn't realized already, there's like 14 or 15 grand stuck into this. So I appreciate all the sponsors. Top to bottom, I'm going to leave this on the screen, and I am going to actually try to find something else. So I'll just leave it right there.
All right, folks, players are back. Uh, a little bathroom break. So are the commentators, unfortunately. Yeah, no doubt. We never left. All right. Good for Tom that nothing went in because he has no shot at the one ball. And I believe I owe Tom a red glove. Two game spread, seven five. I don't know if I like this. Wow. I, you know, yeah, it's a, it, it's it's because, and that was off the break. Yeah, you know, I, I, I could have easily. Uh, he could have pushed, or he could have done something else. I don't. I mean, great shot, great jump shot, and everything. But you know, look what you ended up with. And we're getting down to the nitty gritty where. You, you can't afford to make mistakes like that. Might end up okay. Should be a pretty easy safe. I would actually play this. I would get this cue ball behind the eight. Come three rails with the cue, hit the, uh, the right side of the two ball, and... Great yeah. idea. Right idea. He's behind Fong. it. He is behind it. I think Fong is going to have to jump again. Yep. This one could go flying off the table. It didn't, but... And I think Tom's going to... If he wants to be aggressive, he's going to have to play a bank shot here. Could use the eight to slow the cue ball down a little bit and have a shot on the three ball. Calling the bank. And hit it well. Yeah, it kind of played exactly what I was thinking, you know. He, yeah. he ran into that eight ball and slowed it down a smidge. So now this is a runnable rack. Yes, it is. Oh, we got two straight. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. over the nine. I think, well, not so much this shot, but I think the next shot is going to be the key shot of this rack. Um, five to the six is, it's not simple. So he's going to want to get an angle that, Probably have to go back and forth. This is too hard. This is way too hard. Oh boy. Now he's going to have to spin and hope to get safe and did not. You know, again, and I'm not. Uh, you you have to play safe here. Yeah, it's. Uh, you cannot. It's, I mean, he, if he wanted to, he could go for the bank. Um, this is cross side, but this is this is not a hard safe either. This no, it's not. You just roll into the into the five and roll the cue ball behind the six, put a bank on the five. I, oh, he called it. Yeah. I don't. I don't like this shot. Yeah. No, that that was. That could potentially sell out this rack. Yeah, if he makes this five, I think he's uh, got a good shot here. Yeah, and, you know, when you're down 7-5 in a race to 10, um, and your opponent's playing pretty well, um, you can't take chances like that. Well, last time Fong was up was 3-2. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Oh, that yeah. is a very fortunate little bump on that ten ball because yeah. had it not hit the ten, um, he w would have left Fong with a shot in the side. Slowed it down just enough. Yeah. He did leave him p a piece, but it's not a simple safe. 
But I'll tell you what, it is getting loud at the Varsity Club. A lot of people in here tonight. Wow. Take a look at this crowd. Only one empty table in the middle there. Yeah. And, uh... Major opportunity for Tom Manina here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Only tough thing I see here is a little bit of shape. Getting shape on the nine is going to be a little. Mm hmm. Got to got to get good shape on the eight, but otherwise, it's, we said this before. It's a runnable rack, so. It's, Uh -oh. oh, and he's going to be jacked up over this 10 ball. That just made this shot a whole lot harder because he's got quite a reach, too. What? He called the bank? No. Did he call a bank? Yes, he did. Why? I don't know. He did. I don't understand that shot. Or why you'd call it. I'll tell you what, he just got a little fortunate, too. Uh, right at the 50-yard line. Uh, he can, uh, Fong can just float this in. Yeah, well, when you're down, I think he got a little fortunate now, too. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a thin cut. I, I don't know that I'd want to play that cut. I wouldn't. Yeah. Now he plays the cut, though. Hmm. Interesting. Well, of course, now he's not jacked over a ball. Yeah, that's going to catch the outer point. Yeah. All right. Golden opportunity to, for Fong to get this back to only a one-game deficit. Oh, look at all the likes. I think we need some more shares, though. A whole bunch of new subscribers, which is fantastic. Thank you very much, everybody. If you are one of the viewers um, and you aren't subscribed, head on over and do that if you would, please. That'd be greatly appreciated. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh boy, Fong has himself in a bad spot. I'm uh, playing two cushions safe here. Uh, I could. I was just about to say say the same thing. This this he could be playing this as a two way shot. I think, um, he's playing the, I think he called the corner though. He did. He did call the corner, but this should yeah. end up at perfect speed. Yeah. Oh boy! I'll tell you what. If I'm Tom Manina, I am thrilled to be getting to the table with this shot. Exactly. That's a tough shot, but if you make this, you're you're almost guaranteed a shot on ten. There's almost no every pocket is available from here for the ten ball. Mm-hmm. Oh, but he decided to play safe. You know, it, it turned out decent. Yeah. You know, and it, this, I hate to say it, but this kind of plays into Tom's favor right now because he knows that Fong is going to be aggressive. I, I would play safe here. I, I don't would, think I, I would, would take on this cut. No, I'd, I'd lay the nine over here on the, on the side, on the lower long rail here. And yep, yep. Roll the cue right behind the 10. I, I like that shot. Oh. Like I said, wow. play the 9. Yeah, I just and, get and perfect come out shape on the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. That's why we're not that playing. Was, <laughs> that was a fabulous. Yeah, it was. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know... 
<laughs> you know, and, uh, wonderful so shot. Uh, yeah, I, and and we know we're we're like we said we we've, we've all been in this situation. But when you're down and you're not shooting well, I mean, making coming with a shot like that can turn your game around. Oh yeah, he, I mean this this, and I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, obviously. No, but obviously, you know, now right. it might end up ten seven Fong, you know, because yep. that was mentally um, huge, yes. huge for Fong. In a comeback. Yeah. All right. It's it's only a one game spread again. Made a ball. This is this is just this is what exactly what we were hoping for. Oh. Tight tight match. Fong is going to play the the, the three ball, yeah. without a doubt. I think I would actually consider playing the carom. Uh, I don't know. I don't like it where the you don't know where the one's going though. If that. I think if he hits it, he's hitting it good. But that's... Oh, my uh, gosh. How does that not go in? Oh, man. And leaves Tom with the world. Yeah. Are you serious? And did he hook him? Oh, this is... No, he's got a shot. Now he has to play. Oh, I, th I don't know if I'd still play the combo here. It, uh, this is not simple. He's playing the, the carom. Wow. This is, yeah. How do you play this? <laughs> this is dicey because that yeah. six ball is huge. You or the five and the six are huge. Yeah. He called it in the corner. Yeah. Bottom right. Hit it well. Wow, what a shot. Yes. What a... What a nice, controlled shot by Fong there. I don't like this. Oh, controlled it well. Yeah, well. got to get off, off the, the rail. rail. Got to get off the rail here. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Why this is probably yeah. the worst because you you jack up on this you can jack up on it and try and try and hold it or draw back for the six but you're you're gonna have no control and if you roll forward yeah the next shot's gonna be tough yeah oh nice shot that's a that is a great shot as well I'll tell you what fong is coming with some some really good shots this rack. This, this is probably the most important one of the rack, though. I, he, I mean, I think you got to hit this with inside, though. Oh yeah, you, otherwise you're scratching in the other side. Yeah. And this is maybe going to skid on him. And it did. You called it. Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Oh wow! Is that a fortunate rub? Yep, it sure is. That is fortunate. Well, kind of see what actually. I, I, I know. I know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm, I'm grazing off this six and trying to play up behind the nine or the mm -hmm. ten there. As long as I don't hit the seven. I think I'd actually try to get behind the seven. Yeah. But uh, you know that's. Yeah. This is interesting. Well. <laughs> I, um, I kind of like this though. For Fong. <laughs> this is tough. I, I kind of like this. You can you can roll this, and you can play for, for like a safe behind the nine, but call the six in the corner off the ten. What did he call? He called the safe. I like that shot a lot. I, 
I think so, he gave Tom a little sliver of the six ball, though. Yeah. Where he can play a safe right back at him. He's, he's going to play this light because he said the nine's off the rail, so he's going to play this into the nine. Yeah, I don't think the nine's even going to come into play here. And I, I mean, the cue ball is going to hit the rail anyway, so that's it should not be. Told you. Oh, uh, look at this. Yeah. Look at this, though. Yeah. He left him a, shot. a complete window. Yep. I don't know if this will be the best view for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He called this down in the corner, and I, I don't know if I like this shot. Yeah. I, I, I don't like going offensive on this. This could be a sellout shot. Yep, and it is. That was... That was a tough shot. Yeah, it was. You got six and a half feet. Or six feet. I thought that this I thought the cue ball was gonna hit his chip and stick it out just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the ten is gonna come into play here, but you never know. It shouldn't. Inside English. Oh side no, oh, he's he's good. Yeah. Ooh. A little straight. Pretty straight here. Now he's gonna look about playing the short side of the ten. Stopping that ball. Pop off the rail here. I'd like to draw this ball, but I, I think I would draw out of this as well. Uh, I hit it good though. Yeah. All right, for a nine to six, or I'm sorry, eight to six lead. All right, so I was talking about it before, and while he is finishing up, this is KO 2.0. So if you look at all the players at the bottom, um, who do you pick? <laughs> I mean, that, that's a hell of a field. I'll tell you what, I'm not wanting to uh, run up in any tournament against any of that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is... I'll tell you what. This is going to be a... I think I'm, It's going to be a short rack. I, I think I'm going to call... I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm, I'm playing... I'm pushing out... Pocket to I'm 10. Pocket to 10. 100%. That's, that's exactly the shot. It's, oh, no, 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 no. This is a mistake. He's, he's going to... Oh, wow. He's playing the cue ball. He's playing the carom to play into the... Oh, my gosh. Look at this shot. <gasps> oh. That... I don't like that shot at all. There's no way I would leave that. Unless you know you're going to get out of this rack, there's no way I would leave that 10 ball hanging in there. Right. There's so many things that can happen now that uh, Tom could end up on the hill. Yeah. This is getting exciting. <laughs> oh, and he overcut. overcut. Okay. Now, now Fong's playing now the it's 10. Now a short rack, yep. I, I guarantee yep. you Fong's playing the 10. Yep, definitely. Do you play the bank or do you play the carom? Oh, I think... I'd play the bank. Play I, the I, I wouldn't. I, I would actually thin the side of the two and play the carom. And it's in. Or play the bank, you know? <laughs> we know who the... <laughs> what a... You know, here... And this is exactly what Al and I were both talking about is... I'm going to actually put this over here again. So we've already got one person that has picked Tarek to win. 
and he has been playing fantastic. And one of the things that I told all the players too, and everybody knows that when you sign up for a tournament, the day that you sign up, if you're Fargo, it meets the requirements. Um, that stands. So I think Tar uh, Tarek may have gone up over 625. I'd have to take a look. I'm not 100% on that, but he's been playing some really good pool, but he is not unbeatable. All right, so Fong making the... Um, he made a ball. The eight. Eight is gone. Hey, what's going on, Jamie? Love you, man. Jamie Caston is in the house. You're welcome. Thanks for, for being here. Hey, one of these times this summer, uh, you and I got to get out on the golf course, buddy. I see your posts on Facebook all the time, and uh, much respect. Uh, Brittany says, I miss Mikey in the booth. Oh. Wow. That's, that's all right. I'm that's not all right. I don't, I don't mind that. <laughs> I like listening to Mike, when Mike and you yeah, go he's, back and forth. Mike's, Mike's, me too, Mike says. Mike says me too. So. <laughs> oh. He got away with it. All right, we're going vertical. Here's here's what could potentially happen right now. If I don't even like this shot right now, I would not jump this shot. Because if he doesn't get a hit, he's going to leave the 1-9, or I mean the 1 and a dead 2-9. Two 2-10, two, two two yep, yes. Two Huh? That that's a much even if he left Fong with a shot that was a much smarter shot yes. by kicking at it versus not. Yes. That could have potentially been we we would have been tied at 8 right now. Yep, for sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> I tell you what Kevin, you and I <laughs> you and I are uh oh, oh. <gasps> and now it's going to happen to Fong uh, yep. in reverse. Yep. Oh man, what a oh. huge mistake! Scratching. Oh, this is. I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to shut my mouth. It's not a gimme, but uh, this is it's a hard one to miss. I'm liking his chances. Yeah. That mistake by Fong has just put Tom Manina on the hill for a spot in the finals. What a big turn of events. Yes, that was. So, Tom breaking on the hill here. Oh, oh did not want to do that. He's very fortunate that nothing lined up with that 10 ball. Oh, 
think he left him. Right, he wait. left him with a shot. Yeah, that two goes past the nine. You don't have to do real a lot with the two, with the mm. cue ball here either. You should nope. be able to just roll roll forward and have a shot out of the three, I think. Uh oh, not if you do that. Oh. Oops. That actually solved one of the issues of this rack was that 5-9 was not a dead combo and kind of broke things up a little bit. So this is this is a huge three ball right now. Oh, my. Outer oh, points got him. my, oh, my, oh, my. Outer points got him. Oh. This is uh, potentially a match winner right here. I'm not going to jinx it. Okay. I think this slides past the six ball, so he's pretty much straight on. I'll get you a different view and see if that is the case. And it sure looks like it goes. Like a mile to Just me. a stop shot. The only s potential issue I see is the seven to the eight. Oh, well, this this could get funky too, but yeah. Oh, that's a foul. Wait a sec. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I, I can't say anything. I cannot say anything. We are not. That's not our, our position. Oh boy. Yeah, there is no doubt in my mind that was a foul. All right, like I said before, the 7 to the 8, and he's got to get the correct angle for the 8 to the 9, and he's got it. Ten ball for the match. All right, folks, that's all she wrote for this match. Uh, Tom Manina taking down Fong Wen, and uh, Tom is moving on to the finals against Mike Masevich. So, I can't thank everybody enough for uh, being here tonight, uh, especially given the inaugural uh, Outer Points production uh, YouTube channel. I'm, I'm very excited for everything that's coming up, um, as well as, Al, I can't thank you enough for being here in the booth with me again. Commentary lived up to its normal low standards. Low standards, yeah, yes. there's... there's no oh. doubt about that, oh. and uh, the reason why I switched to the to booth cam is, I mean, <laughs> look at my eyes. Yeah. I really, really appreciate everybody being here, and if you haven't already had an opportunity uh, to get on over and like 
the channel and share it with all your friends. I greatly appreciate that. So stay, stay tuned. Um, not tonight anymore. I'm going to shut everything down. But uh, look for it on Facebook or the YouTube channel itself, and you will be informed as to when the finals are going to take place. Um, with that being said, I am going to go out and talk to the players real quick. Thanks very much to this guy over here, as always. Much appreciated having you in the booth, and uh, we'll talk maybe about you doing the the finals. Okay, we'll see what happens. Um, as long as you don't have... Uh, here it comes. Who was it? Who was it? So they wanted to be in the... Kevin, uh, maybe Kevin Dorn, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, I don't see him even in here anymore, so he probably left. So. But yeah, most likely, most likely. So <laughs> anyway, I hope everybody has an awesome weekend. Uh, thanks for being here. Enjoy your your Sunday tomorrow, and we'll uh, we'll see you on the next time around. Thanks, everybody. Peace out, everybody.